Hi, it's Nordo. Welcome back to a walk with Yaya. So, we're, we're taking our grandmother on a lovely little walk. Oh, come here. Wait, wait. Let's turn your right trigger. Right trigger. There, there we go. Yep. Okay. Um, take our grandmother. Look, she had, she had a little spill. She had a spill earlier. Then I guess that she lost all confidence in her ability to walk. And so we are t we are her her grandson, and we're taking her on a walk. I believe this is based on a true story. What is that on the pole? Oh, the, <gasps> it's a missing cat poster. That must be the cat we just found. Oh, I hope he's still there. That's the owner's house right across the street. How nice. Let's take him home. Okay, back to the kitty. Where's the kitty? The kitty was right here. Do we need? Do we not need to go back and find the kitty? There it is. There's a kitty. Hi, kitty. Hi. Hi. Hi, good little buddy. He's not letting me touch him. I don't want to get scratched. Let's let's try the ball. Okay. Let's see if we can get him to, to play with the ball. Whoops. I suck at sports ball. <laughs> let's see. Kitty. 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 Want to play with the ball? Hey, little buddy. Let me touch him. Hmm. Don't want to get scratched. Okay. I don't... Hmm. How do we get the kitty home? There we go. There we go. What do you think, kitty? No? You're not going to play with the ball? Okay, well, let's... Hmm. Well, we have to... Well, okay, we'll have to think about how we get the kitty home because we have to take care of that kitty. So we saw... Hmm. And we can just tell the owner where we saw their kitty. So we saw the missing poster, and we said that the... that the Yeah, we saw this missing poster. We said that it's right across the street. We can't do anything, though. Okay, so we can, we can keep going. Is it this house, maybe? Is there something we can do with this house? No, there's not. Okay, I'm not sure what to do, and I really want to get that kitty, so I need to think about that. Yeah, there's nothing we can do interactive with there. There's no indication. Hmm. Can we pick this? What a pretty flower. Never seen one like this in the neighborhood before. Should I take it? Yeah, take it. We need, okay, we need, we need, there's something to have to go back and get the kitty, so. Not sure what that is, but. I mean, ideally, we could probably wrap our jacket around the kitty and bring him in. <laughs> Not sure. Kitty's still back there. The ball's still back there. Hey, yeah, yeah, we're almost back home. Want to take one last break before the final stretch? Okay. How long have we been walking for? Maybe half an hour? Definitely not long enough for my mom to be back yet. Hope she's relaxing for once. I don't remember the last time she went out with friends. Hmm. Are you and mom getting along okay? I know it hasn't been easy for you since you started needing for help. Well... Sometimes we argue. Sometimes we get along well. I just hope I've been a better mother than <laughs> than uh, Mitrovo. I guess it meant her mother. Your pro Yaya was a very tough lady. She could be scary. Your pro Papos wanted wanted her very much from me. They told me to be a proper lady. I had to do many things I didn't like. I wanted to play jazz, but they made me learn classical piano. I didn't know you played an instrument. Oh, I haven't played in a long time. After I moved in with your puppo, my piano gathered dust, you know. The tuning wasn't right. I started to get these shaky hands. Do you ever miss it? Sometimes. I didn't like playing at first because I was forced to. But when I learned more, I started to appreciate the music. I was very shy, but not when I was in a recital or on stage. When I was allowed to choose a song to play, I could have control over my feelings. What pieces did you like the most? Hmm. I like the lively ones. Brahms, Hungarian dances, Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker. Dances and waltzes were always my favorite to learn. But 
I'd like to write more emotional slow pieces for myself. You can post songs too? I didn't write too much. There were a few pieces I was proud of. Can you remember what they sounded like? Well, one always stands out in my memory. It was a song I wrote for, for Materia Mu. The melody went like this. <laughs> nice. Ooh, that's a nice effect. I like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait. I guess... <sighs> nice. That's really pretty melody, yeah? yeah? What did your mom think of it? I can never tell what she was thinking. I thought that if I could just impress her, I might be happy with myself. I wanted my music to give her an emotion, any emotion. I never saw her cry or yell. Only quiet judgment and disapproval. Jeez. <laughs> it was my favorite song I had composed. I thought if I had to get a I thought that I could get a, had to get a reaction out of her. What happened? I played it for her one night after supper. Okay. Uh. Yep. Uh. She didn't even look like she was paying attention. Hmm. That's kind of sad. Will they still continue the minigame or not? I'm going to use the mouse to do this because for some reason the, the controllers aren't working very well or not. What did you do when you were finished? She only said, hmm, and then left the room. Jeez. I wanted to hate her for it, but I was really upset at myself for trying. I could never be good enough for her no matter what I did. I'm sorry, Yaya. <laughs> but we're glad to leave home. Hmm? But when she was older, we became a little closer after my father died. Something in her changed. She was a little nicer to me for the rest of her life. We started to find things we had in common. I went to visit more often. But it was still hard to forgive her for all the things she said to me when I was young. Hmm. When she got the dementia, that's when she was really nasty again. She forgot that my father had passed away. She forgot who I was. She thought I was a stranger trying to hurt her, so she pushed me away all the time. In the end, when she was in the hospital, I heard her, th I heard her humming to the nurse, asking if she knew what the song was. It was a song I wrote for her. Oh. I didn't know she remembered it those years later, even with the memory loss. Hmm. Music is magic, by the way. It even seemed to cheer up and hu to hum it. Huh. That's nice. There was a player piano in the in the lobby of the hospital, so I asked the nurse if I could play it for her. They wheeled her downstairs and sat her across from me, and I played her my song. And this time, when I finally turned to her, I saw the biggest smile on her face. It was the happiest I'd ever seen her. Okay, legit holding back tears. <laughs> She only lived a few more weeks after that. I just wish she could have been more carefree and happy like that before she got sick. I'm sorry, Yaya. Sounds like a confusing relationship. I definitely have issues with how my parents raised me, but seems like yours were much more intense. I hope you know that you were you were a better parent to my mom than you were to you than they than she was to you. I always tried to be. I'm sure you'll be even better to your children. I'll do my best. 
But that's at least a few years down the line from now. Well then, I think it's time to get moving again. Okay, let's keep going. Don't know if we're going to find something for the cat. I'm not sure. Let's see, are we home yet? Is that home or not? I don't remember. Is this where we started? I'm so confused. She's doing really well, though. Now, we can walk faster. Hey, look at that, Yaya. We're all the way back to the house again. Are we going inside now? Maybe not yet. I want to rock around a little bit more. Is that okay with you? Okay, I saw a kid here playing in the yard, and I wonder if this ball doesn't belong to him. A very good ball. So let's see if we can get this over to him. Is this the only, one of the only few people I've seen around? Hey, that's my ball. There we go. Sweet. Gimme, gimme, gimme. This yours? Yeah. Here you go. Thank you, mister. A car drive by and hit my ball down the street before. I thought it was gone forever. No problem, little guy. Be careful with the rain, though. You might slip. Goodbye, Pelamu. Nice. That is awesome. How sweet. You're a good boy. What's up? What's up? Okay. Because we'll keep going. See what else we find. Wait. Was this here before? What is this? <gasps> cat treats. Looks like some cat treats. We could use them to get that back back to his owner. Should I take them? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Let's head back to the kitty. And see if, I'm glad I, I'm glad that I headed back because I would have missed all this content. Let's head back to the kitty and see if we can lure him to his owners. Back at the kitty. Let's see if we can bribe him with treats. Hey, little buddy. Can we give him a treat? Sure. Nice kitty. Here you go. Purr. Crunch, crunch. Looks like he likes you now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come here, sweet gato. <laughs> Let's take you home. Sweet. Awesome. Oh, I'm very happy about that. Okay, I'm really, boy, am I super glad that we that we turned back around. I, I don't know how I missed those cat treats before, but I'm really, really glad that uh, that I turned back around because now we can return the cat to his home if we can find his home. Hopefully, it'll be just sort of automatic. That's very cool. I, I like that very much. I, I also think it's really interesting that there's content, like, content that you can miss. I think that's very cool. Here you are, little buddy. Oh, and again, he's going home. Nice. Looks like he's going into the garage. Goodbye, Gato. Gatula. Well, we did something nice for someone today, yeah, yeah. Yes, it feels good. I haven't helped anyone in so long. I should leave the house more. Yes, you should. I think that would be a really good idea for you. Sometimes I just wish I could leave the house without any help again. I'm sorry, Yaya. It must be really hard losing your independence after taking it for granted all those years. Mm. Maybe we can talk to a doctor and see what we can do about make you feel a little better about that. Maybe you're right. I should ask your mother. Let's go. Oops. Can we grab you? Oops. Come on now. Hey. Let's go. I don't want to go too fast, so come on, let's go. Come on. I don't like walking in front of you, but I can't seem to... Hey, yeah, yeah. When you were just a little girl when you moved to Greece, from Greece, right? How did it feel immigrating from one country to another? Oh, hmm. It's so long ago now, hard to remember too much. What was it like growing up in Greece? Well, there were a lot of problems. Problems? What kind? Hmm. Lots of fighting, scary times. Wait, you were in Greece during World War II? I think, I think, yes. You think? How do you not know something like that? Well, if you were there in Rhodes in like, what, 1942? Yes, I think I was very little. And you were born in what, 1932, 35? Yes, 32, 1932. So you were like 10 years old in Greece when it got invaded? I guess so. Holy crap, yeah, yeah I didn't know that. Don't swear. Sorry. <laughs> but wow, that's crazy. I can't imagine growing up with what was happening around you. I don't remember too much. I'll always remember one thing. Hmm. Well, how did we miss this before? It's very cool. It's very cool. 
Man, I'm so glad we turned back around. Let's see, what's this? I don't know why we were there, but we were on a boat and a big plane flew over. Okay, I'm not doing much. Guess I'm just riding on the boat. Oh, okay, there we go. When I heard it, I looked up. It was so strange, like a dream. At first, they looked like white birds, thousands of birds, all dropping from the bottom of the plane. Hmm. What were they? Leaflets, maybe? I can't control the boat. That's interesting. Okay. It looked so pretty, fluttering in the wind, falling to the sea and the beaches. But Paternamu, you know, your, your, your papas, when I looked at his face, then I knew it wasn't a good sign. What was it? I mean, it looks like paper. What was it? Your puppies told me they were papers, you know, for the soldiers? Like a propaganda drop? Maybe, I think so. But when he saw that, he got nervous, and we turned the boat around. <laughs> yep, turned the boat around. <laughs> That's interesting. I can't remember what happened after. Just papers floating down from the sky. Wow, yeah, yeah. Those experiences must have made a big impression on you. How'd you get to America after that? My family was lucky, safe. We moved when we had to. Paternamu saved up the money he had made working at Thea's bar. When it was safe, he got tickets and sent Mulamu and me on a plane. He had his filly, his friends. They moved to New York before us. They helped us when we arrived. He had to save more money before he could join us. We didn't see him again for a few years. Sounds like a stressful childhood. Mm. But we were fortunate to be able to come here. Must have felt lucky to avoid a civil war, too. Yes. Well, that's all really interesting, Yaya. But we should get moving again. Wait, did you just tell me that long story should get a break from walking? No, of course not. Me? <laughs> sure, old lady. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now she's actually keeping a pretty good clip I can go full speed and she keeps up with me I boy I like that touch it's really nice I got some really really nice touch and since no cars are coming I'm just going to walk down the middle of the street I, if I hadn't turned back I would have completely missed all that content and that was actually quite moving my goodness what a, what a delightful game I think we'll finish this up and get Yaga home in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough of Walk With Area. I have a feeling we're coming up to the end of this. Um, so next will probably be the conclusion. An absolutely wonderful, delightful story. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for more A Walk With Yaya. I'll see you next time.